I just picked up some of our old I Spy books from home. This one specifically has had such a huge impact on the way I create now as an artist. I didn't really think about it until recently when I started making myself list the things that inspire my work, but not super obviously, but more so like subconsciously and really like digging into my subconscious and what inspires me. And I Spy Books came to mind and it is 100% true and I just picked this up at home and I am so excited because I know that there is a page in here that I have thought about my entire life that has just completely encapsulated my imagination and my creativity and I'm going to show it to you when I get to it. I just love these books. <sighs> memories. Friggin memories. Look at this. There are specific pieces. I guarantee you I can pick out specific pieces from every single page that have specifically gone into my work. Like I open this and I see moon and stars and this blue and a little airplane. I feel like this is like what my dreams are made of. <laughs> and I, I can see things that I've taken from this book and put into my work subconsciously without even really noticing it. <laughs> the memories, I just love it so much. Do you guys remember this? Mm, this one. These pillow fluff clouds and everything in white. I feel like I should make a self-portrait inspired by this page. If this hasn't come into play in my work a million times already, there's a castle and a horse and clouds and stars, a little ship in the clouds like this. No wonder I grew up being so fascinated by stuff like this. Like this was one of my biggest hobbies was looking through I Spy books. And look, I just saw this. You probably can't see it. It's like a train down in the clouds, but it's super easy to miss. <sighs> Freaking magical. Every single page I open, it's like washing memories over me. These warm, golden, outer space vibes. So dreamy. This is the page. This is the page. I just need to have a moment. I need to have a moment because this page, let me just show you. This is the page that I constantly think about in my work. I see so much of myself in this book page and it just blows my mind to just see how I subconsciously grasped onto so much from something from my childhood and incorporated it into my work as an adult. The gold and the soft light and the sword and the tool and the wings and the masks, the mystery and the feeling that I can't even explain when I look at this. This is like, yeah, I don't have, I don't have any words. Um, one of my recent Instagram posts, I actually had a, um, I was describing like what inspires me and I talked about my work feeling like a lone ballerina on a stage. This is what I was referencing. This page means so much to me. I used to also love this one. I was always fascinated and still am fascinated with like underwater things, but I specifically remember the mermaid being so captivating to me. I just, I loved the mermaid, and I also loved this little door down here. The mystery of this little door and the feeling that I got when I looked at it. You can see that there's like a light coming from the other door and just wondering as a kid, like what's on the other side of that door and where does that door lead? And just like the feeling of absolute wonder and curiosity that these pages implemented on me as a kid has just stuck with me as I grew up. I mean, I look, I look at these pages and I feel the same feelings that I did 
looking at them as a kid. I also found our old I Spy Mystery, which was another one of my favorite I Spy books that I feel has greatly impacted my work. First time looking at it in, I don't even know how many years. Love this page. I remember feeling creeped out looking at this page because I felt like it was like someone was spying. I feel like it felt like someone was spying on me. Even though the pages are meant to look like you're the one doing the spying. And then like that feeling of someone watching you and then there's like some creepy dolls and it's a little eerie. Something about me as a kid, I have always been drawn to like really, <laughs> this is so weird, really like creepy unsettling things. You, like as a kid, I have always loved things that creeped me out. I don't know what it was. You can specifically ask my sister. She will probably laugh if she's watching this. I specifically loved creepy things and like wanted to look at them and I think that's why I liked this. I feel like this one was specifically kind of creepy and I liked it because of that. I mean, I, I probably was like five. This page, oh my, this page is speaking to my soul. Okay, this dusty old attic. I told someone recently that I wanted to do a photo shoot and the vibe was gonna be like, um, I spy meets dusty old attic. And she was like, say no more. I know exactly what you're talking about. This is what I was talking about. When you think dusty old attic, do you think Dusty Old Attic or do you think this? Because I think this. When I think Dusty Old Attic, this is what I was fascinated by as a kid. And I still am fascinated by creepy, spooky things like this. I, I just love it. I love it. And I love the vibe of this photo and like the fogginess, the curiosity and the wonder and like the odds and ends and the props. I can see this page came with me as I grew up. I made my own list. <laughs> I made my own I Spy list. I just found it in the pages. That's weird. Kind of cute. This looks like my teenage handwriting. I must have, I definitely revisited this book to look at it as a teenager, I guess. Make up my own I Spy pages. Marble page. Again, I'm seeing specific little things. This house right here in a marble with the lights on and it's dark and it's nighttime. Those blue and black hues, the lights glowing, the spookiness and wonder of it. Those are just feelings that I wish to bring with me now in my work. And it's so crazy to see it and just know that this is one of the places that that um, inspiration came from.